Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and today I have a new Blu-ray hunting video. The latest installment in the series in which I hunt for Blu-rays, not animals. But before we get into that hunting action, let's go ahead and pick the winners for last week's codes. Okay, so we are going to start off with Godzilla, King of the Monsters. And here is everyone, I hope, <laughs> that I saw asking to be entered in for the latest Godzilla film. So here is all of the names, and let's go ahead and pick our first winner. Jorge Villalobos, congratulations. All right, now we are headed on over to Rocket Man. So, here is everyone I saw asking to be entered in for the Rocket Man digital code. And this is hopefully in contention for at least best actor maybe, but certainly hoping it gets some sort of awards love. Academy, remember that it came out, please. <laughs> but let's see who's getting some love from our randomized name picker today. And our winner is... April Lee. Congratulations. So congratulations to our winners. What I need from both of you now is for you to go ahead and message me on Instagram, on Twitter, whatever the case might be, saying, hey, this is me, and I won this code. Then from there, we'll go ahead and verify, and I'll go ahead and send your code on over. Now, we do have a few releases this week, so let's go ahead, hit the stores, and see what might be in store for the hunt this week. Hey, y'all. So it's Tuesday again. What? What? So we have some new releases, and I'm super on the fence this week because there are films I plan to buy, but I just question, first of all, do I want to get the steelbook just because it's the steelbook? Uh. And then, do I need to buy it now or can I wait for a sale? Honestly, uh, it's a big struggle. I'm going to say that. So I decided to just come over to Best Buy. Uh, feel it out. Like, you know, maybe maybe I'll get some epiphanies if I, if I like, touch physically touch the physical media you know maybe maybe a spark will go off and I'll just need to purchase it or maybe my fingers will start burning and I'll need to throw it down and walk out the store I'm not sure um so yeah I decided to come to Best Buy because they hold the steelbook duh but other than that I I don't know so let's just get in there shall we an interesting promotion. Hmm. You've also got this deal going on right now. Get prepared for that new one. <laughs> no. Or get prepared for that series currently out. Meanwhile, look at this tiny little standee. <laughs> it's a little. <laughs> I don't know about this deal book cover, if I'm being honest. It's, it's alright, but are y'all gonna be seeing It Chapter 2 this weekend? Uh-huh. Also, I don't know that it's going to be today, but this purchase is in my near future. I need it. Look at all these still books they still have for these films. Specifically Dumbo. Oh, poor Dumbo. Okay, and here are our new releases. 
So we have Men in Black International, which I enjoyed more than most people did, seemingly. But this is what they chose to go with for the steelbook. Yeah. Um. Mm. <laughs> I certainly like this better. Let's just be real. So, I don't know about this. Then we have Ma here. That includes an alternate ending. Um, Ma I thought was fun. I thought it was a funny, fun kind of film. Don't know about that though. This, no, please. portion of the new releases. I'm not seeing it here in the B area. I know for sure it was in Target's like weekly ad. Best Buy, does anybody else notice? I think they've stopped doing their weekly ads. You just have to like click deals, uh, which is kind of annoying. But what in the world? I don't see Booksmart anywhere. So... be just venturing away from the new releases y'all into some more independent fare this week I don't know this though no look at this though King of Monsters be selling out them steel books y'all it's been pretty popular apparently Steep of a sale, <laughs> please. Well, I don't know. I don't know. They don't seem to have books right here, so that is interesting. I'm gonna double check the app and see if maybe there is some sort of clue. Ooh, orange, a. Eh? <laughs> um, I don't know. I swear. Came out the third. I am like a little bit flabbergasted. Is it, do they do just like Target only, like Target exclusive release of Booksmart? I don't know. Maybe I'll go check Target. Maybe I won't. I can't promise y'all. Um, but anyway, I have seen what I need to see here at Best Buy, so I'm gonna go ahead and bounce. All right, so we are back from the store, back from roaming around, and what what kind of mess? So, for sure, Booksmart did, in fact, come out today, as I said, at Target, but I didn't stop in at Target, so there's that. But I also searched for Booksmart on Best Buy's website after I had left the store, and there it is, saying released on the 3rd, and that I could pick it up in store within the hour. So I'm thinking maybe my Best Buy just didn't put it out? They didn't stock it? I have no idea. It was weird. Nevertheless, as much as I love Booksmart, it is still in my top 10 for 2019 thus far. Uh, there's nothing special about the Blu-ray. The only thing that really had me wanting to get it now was I've been dying to rewatch it. Ever since I saw it, I've wanted to see it again. 
and I never got a chance to get back out to the movie theater and watch it. So I've just been really excited to watch it again. However, uh, I'm going to go the save money route this time. I know, right? What a shock. And I'm going to wait for a sale. I might even wait for um, Black Friday at this point. We're getting to that time of year where a lot of things might get pushed to Black Friday. But that haul will be something special, y'all. And then Ma, I don't know if I'm going to buy that at all. Probably not. I do think I want to revisit it just because she's become such a meme online that I had fun with the character particularly. So who knows? I might rent it and rewatch it, but I don't think I'm going to buy it. And then it got to Men in Black International. So Target had the exclusive I was more interested in because they had like that booklet with it with just the regular cover and it was $22.99, I think. However, I just need to talk about this steelbook. What a hideous steelbook. What in the world? Like, first of all, I know a lot of people enjoyed Pawnee as a character. I found him to be too much, like, irritating. And so I don't know why Pawnee is on the cover. Second of all, the illustration of Pawnee on that cover is ugly. Like, it doesn't look good, even as an illustration. So, I don't know. I think they should have done something like this. This is my steelbook for Huntsman Winter's War. So the fact is, you have Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson, two of the hottest stars in Hollywood, both star power and, let's be real, in looks, they're hot. So Huntsman Winter's War put good old Chris here on the front and then Charlie Theron on the back. So the movie wasn't great, but this is a gorgeous steelbook. Like, what a just beautiful steelbook. Now, of course, the gold with it all has to do with the movie, but they really should have done something where it was like Chris Hemsworth on the front, Tessa Thompson on the back, and, you know, judged it up with some kind of cool picture. I don't understand. This would have been the way to go for me. That steelbook is a hard pass, y'all. I thought it was hideous. Now, I do think I want to pick up Men in Black International, but that's definitely a sale buy. If I'm not interested in the steelbook, then I can go ahead and just pass right on by the aisle and wait for the price to go down on the regular version with a much better cover. Or possibly, I don't know, I might wait for a Men in Black set to come out. We'll see. So yeah, pretty uneventful week this week, even though there were two movies I was really considering buying. Ultimately, I figure both of those can wait for a cheaper price. I actually might go back, though, for disobedience when I get paid on Friday. Hey! Um, because $10 is by far the cheapest I've seen that movie go. So that's a good deal, and I've been dying to get disobedience. So, yeah. Otherwise, next week, Disney is trying to kill my pockets uh, and all of our collections. They're just, like, dumping a whole lot of steelbooks on us next week. So I'll prioritize those. I showed it in the store, like Cinderella, the classic version, as well as Toy Story, the new Cinderella. All of those still have steelbooks available. So I'm going to have to pick and choose. I'm not going to buy everything because what? So yeah, that's it. Unfortunately, I don't have any new and additional digital codes to share with you all this week. But 100%, y'all, 100, there will be digital codes up for grabs next week. So I hope you all still enjoyed this Blu-ray hunting video. If you did, go ahead, click that like button down below and subscribe to the channel. Not only so that you are always eligible for all the giveaways here on the channel, but so that you're always up to date on my latest videos. Also comment down below. Did you pick up Men in Black? What do you think of that steelbook? Do you find it as hideous as I do? And what else did you pick up this week? Let me know either in the comment section down below or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your support. Mwah! Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!